What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create detail view. Okay, so if you remember last time I have uh, shown you or teach you how to create a call out. So we created a section and then from that section view, we put a call out. If you remember, uh, the call out tool can be found on the uh, view. You can find it here. And then you can select the call out. So that is what we did. So we put a call out in our section view. Now, uh, this time around, so what we are going to do is we are going to put more detail to the call out that we have created last time. So let's say, for example, this call out here. So I'm going to open this call out. So click, right click, and then go to view. Okay, so this is the call out. So the name of this call out is detail at grade. Of course, you can just simply double click that from the project browser. Uh, aside from clicking the call out, right click and go to view option. You, if you know the name of the call out that you will be working on, so all you have to do is to go to project browser and then look for detail at grade, right? Okay, so now for creating our call out, oh, I mean uh, the detail view for our uh, exercise we don't need this uh, boundary here okay so we don't need this so that's why I'm just gonna hide this so I'm gonna click the crop region so I'm gonna hide that so let's hide that and same with the label here so I don't need that okay now the first thing that I'm gonna do for this exercise I'm going to add detail element or detail components okay if you go to the annotate tab you can see here your detail line revision cloud detail group region and then if you click the drop down arrow you can see the field region masking region and then you also have here detail component repeating detail component so these uh, tools here on our detail panel so these are all view specific elements so when you say view specific elements just like your detail line here it says creates view specific lines so when you say view specific lines you will only see this in the view where you have drawn it so that's why if i create my detail line in this view okay so this detail line i can only see that in this view so it will not appear in our view or in other view so that's why uh, if you want to create a detailing so you need to use detail components so that the other views will not be modified because your detail components or detail uh, tools here that is only what we need for our detail view here okay you don't need to show your details to other view that's why we are using view specific uh, elements which are these tools here now the first thing that we are going to do we're going to add a break line okay so to add the break line so i'm going to select your detail component just click that one as you can see the definition again it adds a view specific detail component to the view so this detail component it's only visible in our current view okay Let's click detail component and then I'm going to load the break line. So load family and then I'll go to my exercise file, uh, families. I'm going to load the break line and then open. Okay, so this is now the break line and then I'm going to place it here. The exact location of your break line is not critical for this exercise. And then I'm going to press uh, space bar to rotate it. And then I'm going to put one break line here and then modify. I can still adjust the break line by clicking the break line and then I can uh, pull down that to adjust my break line. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is let me show you how to use this repeating detail components. So what is that? So it repeats a detail component along a path. So that is what we are going to do so we are going to add this uh, repeating detail component in this area here okay so it's like an array of detail component so i'm going to select repeating detail component click that and then from the properties 
I do not want to use the brick. So let me just quickly show you what is this brick. So I'm going to pick here. So see, that's a repeating digital component, right? So that's a brick, but I do not want to use that. So I'm going to escape once and then I'm going to edit. So edit and then let's duplicate that. Okay. So let's say um, I'm just going to call this uh, component. Okay, repeating detail component. Of course, you can name it uh, any name that you would like. But for me, I'll just call that repeating detail component. So I'll just select here, OK. And then for the detail, I'm going to change that to uh, CMU. OK, so I'm going to use okay, CMU to core section. 8 inches by 8 inches by 16 inches and then for the spacing of that detail component I'm gonna change this to 8 inches okay and then I'll just select here okay and that's it so using the line tool I'm going to pick at the lower left corner of the inner lower left corner here and then I'm gonna move my cursor up and there you go. I'll just move up. So that's our repeating detail component. And then I'll just select here modify. So that's it. Okay. And then after that, so what we are going to do is I'm just going to insert here a detail group. Now to make this exercise uh, short, I already created this uh, detail group in this exercise so it's already on my project browser and then here so groups detail so I already created the under slab so what is this under slab so I'm gonna right click this again these are all detail components so if we place that in this view it's only visible in this current view okay so I'll select here create instance for my under slab and then I'm gonna click this corner here and there you go select modify to terminate so this is that uh, component okay so that's the one that's a group okay so I'm gonna right click reinforcing and then I'm gonna create instance again and then I'm gonna pick that corner there you go and then modify again if you want to take a look what is this detail component you, I can just simply click that and then I can ungroup that if I want so that as you can see, they are all individual uh, components that is grouped. Okay, if I click that, properties, you can see that's a detail items. Same with this one, that's a detail item. Okay, so they are grouped already. So next, I'm going to put the starter track. So I'm going to right click that and then create instance. And then I'm going to, let's say, put it here. There you go. Okay, and then I will select here modify. Okay, so these are the detail components that we can use that can be found here on our tools detail panel. Of course, um, let's say for example, I want to put a hatch here just like this one, concrete hatch, hatch pattern. So I want to put here as well. So to do that, you have this tool that is called field region. So you can click. The field region, this is just like hatch in AutoCAD. So click that and then properties. Let's duplicate this one. I want to create a concrete because there's no concrete here. So I'm going to duplicate that and then call this concrete. Okay. And then let's change the pattern. Pattern to concrete. So let's select concrete and then okay. And then I don't want to have any masking, so I'm going to uncheck this one to make it transparent. And then I'll select here, OK. And that's it. So I'm going to make this invisible line. I do not want to see the edge of this uh, field region. So I'm going to select invisible line and then use a rectangle here. Click that. And I'm going to pick somewhere here. And then all the way up here. There you go. Then after that, just select check. 
Now, your field region will not appear. Sometimes it will not appear at uh, at an instant you place it. Okay, so the reason is uh, maybe one of the hatch pattern or detail component is covering your field region. In my case, this um, detail component here, our uh, CMU, this repeating detail component is blocking the concrete field region that I just created. So that's why I'm going to select this repeating detail component. And then there is an option here, arrange, arrange panel. So I'm going to select here, send to back. So I want to send to back the repeating detail component. So click that and then click outside. And there you go. See, so it's now there. Okay, so basically that's how, that's the basic way of creating your detail view, okay? The procedure is you can go to your floor plan and then after that you can create a section. I have already shown you how to create a section. For example, this one. So that's a section. Okay, and then from that section I created there a a uh, typical wall section which is this one so if i open that double click so this is now your typical wall section and then from the typical wall section i created a call out there this one so to create a call out just go to the view select the call out and then you put it here and then you open that call out and then if you want to add more details to that uh, call out you can now go to annotate and then you can use these tools from our detail panel so these are the tools that we use to add detail to our detail view okay so uh, hopefully you, le uh, you have learned something in this video if you have any comments questions or suggestion you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so once again thank you for watching have a nice day